and we're back with another top list of 3D prints that I think that you should print in November and this month since I hope a lot of you have taken advantage of the Black Friday deal on Bamboo Lab hopefully we do have a lot of new Bamboo Lab A1 owners so in today's video I want to focus on what should you actually do with these 20 grams of free filament samples that you should get if you are purchasing a brand new Bamboo Lab printer from their website. Well, one thing that you could do is uh, some kind of decoration for your home. This is literally fresh off the plate. And in this case, it is a woman with wine reading a book. You do have links to this specific print via my Maker World profile. But again, this just shows as uh, some kind of inspiration for you that you could actually do quite a lot of very, very nice designs around the house with just a few grams of, of filament. And maybe this might be a little bit too stereotypical, but it's prints like this that convinced at least my wife that a 3D printer was a very good investment and not only printing accessories to my 3D printer which she thought was pretty useless <laughs> the first couple of weeks of owning a 3D printer. Next print which was uh, not uh, really wife approved uh, is this crocodile bag clip. I think it's cute it's it's much cuter than just a normal bag clip but it's also a very very good example of things that just doesn't exist in the world at, at least not I haven't been able to to find to be honest I haven't actually looked <laughs> but uh, this is just something that I wouldn't really see in a store that is like it's functional because it, it actually works this just opens up the total imagination of all the different things that you could design yourself maybe uh, or that you just find on Maker World which again you can find on my Maker World profile. For this next print, I uh, may be cheated a little bit because if you are going to print this entire Maple Leaf coaster set, including the holder, it will be 99 grams. But one single of these coasters are only 15 grams. And I think that by themselves, uh, maybe not as cool as like a, a full set. But when can you just go out to a store and just buy a single coaster if that is what you need? So I still think that printing coasters is just an absolutely amazing way of using your 3D printer just because you can print just as many as you need and you can also customize them different sizes. Under normal circumstances I would definitely print this in a little bit more fall leaf colors. Uh, if, is it still fall? Uh, I live in Taiwan, so it's very hard to keep track on all these seasons. Uh, maybe it should just be like a white snowflake or something instead of, of, a, of a fall leaf coaster. Next print may not be so useful, but definitely entertaining, especially if you have some kids at home as well who is getting into this 3D printing hobby slash business together with you. Then you do have these uh, lightweight airplanes. Honestly, I think like just within a few more years, this would be like the replacement of these paper planes. I never actually learned how to fold that in school because I was busy working on my homework and my, my school books. But you could just print this out in like less than 30 minutes uh, and of course using less than 20 grams as well. It does come with a lightweight plane glider uh, launcher that uh, is more than a 20 grams. We're not going to include that in this video but please do let me know by leaving a comment down below if that is something that you want to see in some future videos and in that case please also remember to subscribe to this channel and to hit that bell so you do get notified when we start to play around with these planes in a little bit more uh, advanced setting perhaps. Just make sure that you don't bring this to the office so you start to irritate your boss. Instead, something that you can bring to the office is this uh, open desk cable management holder slash organizer. Absolutely amazing. Like this kind of cable management solutions is something that I have spent way too much money on during my days. Maybe even more than, than some cables even cost. And I don't like the fact of like uh, putting some kind of tape or other like kind of adhesive and ruining my table. You can just screw this into the side of the table and then you have the, the room for these cables here so the cable is always accessible whenever you need it. And of course this screw is also like 3D printed. It's in the same file. It still blows my mind just the accuracy and the quality of, of the 3D printers and also people who can like just design this. I know that if you go into like Fusion 360 and stuff there are a very very easy ways to make threads but Honestly, I've tried this myself, so and it didn't really work that well. So I'm still very impressed for people who, who do make it work. And speaking about businesses and offices, here we have a double-faced card vertical slip-in badge ID holder, which again is something that like replaces a real product 
that I have purchased myself before. And this of course works super nice. Uh, here we have some metal cards for my own business. Uh, just like slide it in and then here on the back you do have room for another card as well. Now this specific product does not come with a commercial license but it is these kind of products for like corporate for offices that I think is a perfect first product to sell if you are thinking about like upgrading your 3D printing hobby to maybe become a 3D printing business or at least just a way to finance your hobby. Just go and talk to your boss and say hey I have an idea how about we make some customizable uh, badge holders and you can, you can you can make this thicker you can like add a little like the company logo the company name but on the other hand maybe you don't want to invest all that money and material in creating a lot of stock before you even have a functional prototype. Well in that case I highly recommend to check out the sponsor of today's video PCBWay. Because in addition to customized PCBs, PCBWay is also offering 3D printing solution with both resin and FDM 3D printing. All you have to do is just upload the STL file on their website and then you just choose the quantity, the material and the color. And maybe my absolute favorite part with PCBWay is that before they actually start the printing process, they will confirm the uploaded STL files just to make sure that there are no issues whatsoever with the files you have provided. Just like my file here that actually had some issues with this little uh, PLA uh, tag here when I tried to upload it myself. And in addition to all these services, they also have their eighth project design contest going on right now where you can actually win real cash prizes. So even if you don't actually need any services from them, it is definitely worth checking out their website as well. And if you do decide to place an order with them, if you do click the link down in the description, you will get $5 off your first order from PCBWay. Next print on the list is one of those prints that did not really convince my wife that I should have a 3D printer since it's just an accessory to the 3D printer itself. In this case it's the Bamboo Lab uh, P1S and X1C door handle bed scraper. Now when you are purchasing your Bamboo Lab printer you will actually get this metal blade and the screws here and then you will get asked to print out this official version or official handle for the scraper and then you have all the tools to actually just attach this metal blade here as well. This is great and I have to say this is uh, my absolute favorite uh, scraping solution. So if you do actually place an order and added some extra filaments with your order then this is definitely what I recommend you to print. But if you are in the unfortunate situation or maybe forgetting to actually order some filaments together with your printer or if you are ordering from some other place uh, for example Sunlu is having a great uh, sale now uh, these days then getting the these fully 3D printed Bamboo Lab scraper is a okay solution. It is not as sharp, it is not as thin as the original one, so I would not say that this is better than this solution in any way, but this also doubles as a door handle for your P1S, X1 and X1C, and I guess also the P2S, maybe? Not sure. It also actually just makes the handle easier to, to open or it makes the door easier to open because it makes the handle longer. So uh, this will definitely uh, work as a handle for me, uh, but maybe not so much as an actual scraper. But I think it's more like a very cool 3D printed themed handle. Yes. Next up is the only eight grams of material is needed for a quick print print. Uh, I don't know. I, I assume that they screwed up with the, the naming of this print. Uh, but uh, surprise, it's only eight grams of filament for this uh, all-in-one PTFE tube removal tool. I haven't tried that many tools because I just gave up, but the PTFE tube removal part of this tool is the best PTFE re tube removal tool that I have printed. On the other end, it also comes with a silicon sock removal tool uh, which i have to say is is much better than i thought it's it's literally designed for these little like hooks on the silicon sock and it also is very easy to uh, use this to i guess bend open the the lid to this uh, hot end on the a1 uh, so it's all very very useful maybe not something that i would spend time looking for in my very very messy <laughs> youtube studio right now but when it comes to the ptfe tube function uh, i highly recommend it next print is one of the smallest prints but arguably one of the most impressive one as well since this one is doing the exact same function as 
this one, which is the build plate holder that I am currently using. 100% the best build plate holder under 20 grams that I was able to find. Just for comparison purposes, this is 126 grams. Uh, and the first one that I had, that is like the first kind of uh, 3D printing solution that I've actually reprinted is this uh, build plate caddy, which was 241 grams of filament that does exactly the same as as this uh, and actually exactly the same as this i have to say this one is not really as stable of course uh, compared to this one and this one it has more like a slide in design and this one is uh, not great with h2d or these like larger uh, plates as well whereas um, the, the original one that i have been using for for months uh, has been perfect but again uh, today we're talking about prints below 20 grams and if you do want a build plate holder even if you only have one single plate this still works still holds it up but you do have to be a little bit careful of actually uh, balancing the plate in the middle otherwise it might be a little bit too tough for this mini build plate stand but definitely a, a thumbs up for me and again uh, you do have all these prints on my maker world profile if you give me a follow there as well now i am not going to show you my dirty shower drain but here we do have a shower drain cleaner which again is just one of these absolutely amazing practical things that you can print with 3d printing and this would actually like save you real money if you go out and looking to purchase one of these uh, drain cleaners as well uh, it works perfectly I, I did print a new one because I didn't want to like uh, touch and, and play around <laughs> with the, the, the dirty one that we are using in our shower so yeah, 100% recommend. And again, it's like prints like these that is great to convince other people why 3D printing is amazing. M maybe that comes off as like very shallow, but uh, I at least like to talk about 3D printing with my friends and family. And these are the kind of things that you would be like, wow, like you, you 3D printed this? Like, because again, like, like they think that 3D printing can only do like decorative stuff. Uh, so every single time when someone comes in here and we, we talk about something else and then I'm just like, I am doing 3D printing. And they're like, okay, no reaction whatsoever. And then they see like one kind of like these solutions that I have here or like, for example, here, uh, we just had a pride month here in Taiwan. So I did have a, a 3D printed pride rainbow color Taiwan map. And once they see like this articulated little uh, movements and then they're like, oh wow, like I didn't realize you can 3D print things like this. And it's like, you can you can 3D print whatever you want. <laughs> it's just, you just have to like, uh, maybe know a little bit of 3D design, but the diff most difficult part is just like coming up with the, with the ideas. I can just make it myself in my own like spare bedroom in my apartment, literally like 30 minutes and, and I'm done. And speaking about things that I am done with, no, not this video, please continue watching. We do have one more print left, but the things that I am done with is trying to understand what six, seven means. Uh, I have no idea. Um, sounds like it's an American thing that kids these days say on the, the talk tick or whatever the apps are called these days. But the reason for why I am including this is because when it comes to these like super trendy things that most likely only is going to last a very, very short period of time, it is just super easy as well to instead of just like going out and buying these like trendy stuff like I don't know what you could buy, like a bookmark that says like six, seven, uh, you could just 3D print it literally like the same day. So if your your kid or, or someone is coming home from, from like school and saying like six, seven, I guess, just go on Maker World, type that in and you will most likely find something that could be printed literally the same day. Next day, go to school. They are the ones, the trendsetters uh, and the ones who are going to be the, the star of the show in school when they do have some, uh, I guess, uh, table decoration or, or whatever it could be uh, for these like short uh, trendy things. Especially if you are using this included 20 grams of free Bamboo Lab PLA filament, then uh, getting this print is, is free as well. And some other things that also is 100% free, that is to subscribing to this channel so you can stay updated when I make more videos about 3D printing and to also follow me on Maker World so you can see all the other prints I've talked about and all the future ones as well. If you do want a non-free option, you can also join my YouTube channel membership, but just be aware that you will actually get 
no other benefits whatsoever because I just want to focus on making as much uh, videos and content as possible for everyone. Uh, this is my Swedish free school system talking and I don't think that anything should be behind a paywall, especially not when it comes to, I guess, hopefully at least educational purposes. Uh, but if you do believe that you should pay for education, uh, please do consider to joining my YouTube channel membership, I guess, or give me a super thanks or two. Regardless, thank you all so much for watching this video. My name is Lucas. Starts with L as in like, ends with S as in subscribe. Please do both and see you all in the next one.